It's about time we went. Oh, honestly, it's been so long. Why? <laughs> Greetings, my friend. My name is Azarius, and this is my friend Josiah. We are here to worship and bear gifts to the king. I'm sorry, does this look like the palace to you? Let me explain. My friend and I have journeyed from far to come here to see the king of the Jews. And it was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah. And we followed a start to come here. But a certain person is not so good at, at astronomy. So we wound up following the wrong star, got lost in the desert for who knows how long. I had the chart upside down, okay? Sorry for the hundredth time. But anyways, we're here, right? Oh, you guys are with the other wise men who brought the, what was it? Oh, the gold, the myrrh, and the frankincense? Yeah, um, Belshazzar, Casper, and Malkor. They came before us, huh? Well, we're here now. Where's the child? Uh, just wait one second. Let me just call my wife. Habibi! Yes, Habibi? Oh, do you remember the baby that was born in the manger um, where the travelers and the uh, shepherds came to visit him? Yes, of course. Oh, well, you see, these gentlemen here, they came to see him and they brought him gifts. Um, so can we? <laughs> Wait, what's so funny? Are we at the wrong place? No, you're at the right place, but you're a bit late. By how much? Not much, really. Only like 33 years. What? <laughs> this is so funny. The desert really makes you lose track of time. Um, I, I remember that kid. Um, that kid was born when I was about six or seven years old. But the kid is now a man. And from what I hear, he made quite a name for himself. Um, Sarah? What was his name again? Um, I think it was Jesus. Okay, well, thanks. Could you give both of us a moment? I need to have a quick talk with my friend here. You mean to tell me that we've been stuck in the desert for 33 years? I told, I told my wife that I'd be back in a month. Martha's going to kill me. Okay, okay, calm down. I wonder what they're arguing about. I don't know. I'm just happy I'm winning. Uh, well, not anymore. Habibi! Calm down? You want me to calm down? I was in the desert frying like an egg, and you want me to calm down? I made a minor miscalculation. We can easily fix this. We're gonna find Jesus and give him the gift and then leave. Three decades is not a minor miscalculation. That's a catastrophe. And if you think I'm gonna go anywhere with you after this, you gotta be really messed up. Think about it. The Israelites spent 40 years wandering in the desert, but they eventually got there, right? We've come this far. What do we have to lose? Okay. So tell me, which way is Nazareth? Uh, you see that road over there? Just go straight down that road. How long's the journey? What? How long's the journey? Well, it usually takes three days, but for you guys, maybe next December. Why, you <laughs> little? <laughs> Come in. Good afternoon, can I help you? Greetings, my name is Azarius, and this is my friend Josiah. We are here to see your son, Jesus. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid Jesus isn't here. <sighs> Why didn't I see this coming? We came all the way from Bethlehem, and now he's not here. Jesus hasn't been around lately. For the past few years, he's been traveling around the country spreading the gospel. You must be very proud. How does it feel to be the mother of the Messiah? It was amazing from the start. We all knew God would send his son into the world, but I never knew he would use me to bring him into the world. It seems like only yesterday that the angel of God told me that I'd bear his son. Yes, time has really flown, hasn't it? But it wasn't always a smooth road. When Joseph, who I was supposed to marry at the time, heard I was pregnant, he was furious and he wanted to cancel the wedding. Who'd blame him if it were my fiance? It was only after the angel of the Lord told him it was God's son that he decided to go along with the wedding. So how was Jesus as a child? Did he get into a lot of trouble? Actually, not at all. He was the perfect son. There was only that one time when he was 12. What happened? 
We took him to the Passover feast every year, you know, a family tradition. But when we got back home one day, we realized he was missing. Wow, you must have been worried sick. Worried to death. We had to go back to Jerusalem, and then it took us three days to find him. You'd never believe where he was. Where? He was with the lawyers and the doctors, listening to them talk about scripture. You must have been really surprised. Most boys his age would have been in some sort of trouble or mischief. Very, but not as surprised as the men he was with. They were so surprised that a 12-year-old boy could be so knowledgeable. Wow, after hearing that, even more anxious to see him. Where is he? His disciples have gone to Jerusalem. If you hurry, you might be able to catch him. We better be on our way now. Thank you for your time. Okay, bye. But watch out for the Romans. They've been making a lot of arrests recently. history lessons already? The Romans conquered Israel a while ago. They post sentries around to keep the Romans in check. Yeah, I know, but I've never seen so many in one place before. Yeah, me neither. Maybe they're expecting some sort of trouble or something. Yeah, maybe. So, oh my leader, how do you suppose we find our needle in this big haystack? Well, he seems like a carpenter guy, so maybe we can ask around. That's why I have to know. I don't care what you say. The scribes are right. This man is nothing but a troublemaker. Don't you dare talk to him like that. You were a friend, but I left with the work place. Uh, who are you talking about? Jesus, the Messiah. Oh, uh, here we go again. Stop calling him that. The high priest said... I don't care what the high priest said. Jesus called me one day quitting. Really? How? Well, you wouldn't know. So, what do you do for a living now? Oh, I still bend, but I get to walk around and make more money. Yeah, you just help me too. Oh, really? Where are you people too? Not exactly. No. That's called unwanted diamonds. What? Tank orders? No, even. But they're gone now. Thank you, Jesus. If it wasn't for them, I'll probably be writing out and giving up great. Oh, boo hoo. These stories are breaking my heart. But have you been hearing what this guy's been saying? Things have turned the other cheek, and everyone's my neighbor, even the Samaritans. Ha! I'd rather be following the Pharisees than the son of a carpenter. So you see, Jesus has touched all our lives and never asked us anything in return. And I heard that he raised a little girl from death a while back. I still say he's a liar, blasphemer. Claiming to be the son of God, he should be stoned. Wow, those are some pretty amazing stories. So, since we're talking about that, you guys seen Jesus around, I hear he's in the city. We all did. He entered the city yesterday and he got a grand welcome. People were throwing ropes in the air and saying, Who's out of the highs? I don't know where he went after that. Oh, I know. I heard he went to Bethany. I heard he raised your man from his tomb after he's been dead for days. Wow. Guys, the Romans are coming. Get out of here. Let's go to Nazareth, you said. It'll only take a couple of days, you said. Well, I said I was sorry. You know, I should gotta thank you. This is my first time in jail. What's next on your world tour, huh? Sodom and Gomorrah? Oh, no, no, no. Hell! Okay, stop being so loud. You're making me dizzy. You know, I should have listened to my wife and stayed at the farm as a pig farmer. I could have had a couple of kids just running around me, but no, I had to listen to you follow you on this journey, and now I'm a convict. Listen, I've had enough with your whining. I never forced you to come, it was your own choice, and you came. <gasps> you should just come stop, on, just stop. Talking, man. This chain is okay, like stop whining. crazy it's right good. now. And you came. You should just come stop, on, just stop. Talking, man. This chain is like okay, stop crazy. Okay, YouTube. 
Now you're either going to make this really easy or really hard. We know you've been looking for Jesus. What is your connection with him? Nothing. We just came to give him gifts. What? Oh, come on. You can't expect me to believe that. From what we have here, you've traveled to Bethlehem, Nazareth, and now even Jerusalem just to give him something? How'd you know all of that? We're the Romans. We got spies everywhere. But what do you want with Jesus? He hasn't done anything wrong. Actually, in the short amount of time, he's been preaching, made a lot of enemies, the scribes, Pharisees, even the high priests have something against him. Why? Apparently, it seems that he's been turning people against each other. Apparently, the laws of Moses that they hold so dear to themselves, he's been preaching against it. And uh, he even said something about bringing the temple down. That's ridiculous. The last time, I heard he was able to gather almost 5,000 people. And the Jews believe that he could liberate them from us, the Romans. So you'd be, wonder you'd be wondering why we're concerned about it. Nonsense. Jesus would never lead them. You expect us to believe that? Are you crazy? Are you planning to join forces with him? No. Then just tell us your story. It's rather funny, actually. You better speak up. When Jesus was born, we were going to his birthplace to give him gifts and we were following his star and Josiah had the star upside down and we ended up following the wrong star. Oh, well, yeah, and we got lost in the desert for a few years. 33 to be exact. Uh, but when we got out, we came to Jerusalem to find him and give him the gifts. Um, it's a really funny story, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's even funnier? What? That you guys believe in this dumb story. Alexander, the whips! Hail Paraminion, I have a message from the Centurion. Well, gentlemen, it's your lucky day. You're free to go. What, really? It seems like your friend Jesus has been caught by the Jewish authorities. We no longer need you here anymore. You're free to go. Get the hell out of here. So, which way is the exit? Are you serious? Can you not read that? Oh, okay. Oh, and uh, one more thing. What is it? Where's the bathroom? Down the stairs, to your left. Thanks. But then, they were going to put a cross on me, but then, 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 this man came along, this man, Josh, Josh, Jesus, that's the one, Jesus, you know, he took my place, I heard, it's all like he's actually a good guy, and he ran to ran, helping me, and they threw off the list. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, and people turned on him, the very people who helped him. Good old pilots that we look at me in our fur wallet. So how did they get you? Oh yeah, his friend. His friend stabbed him in the back. Did you know? Just for 30 pieces of silver. I probably would have asked for 50. Uh-huh. Yeah. Then what happened to him? Oh yeah. Pilot, he took him, he took him away. The problem mainly Looking for Jesus, you're too late. What do you mean? They already crucified him. What? How do you know? Because because I was there. Before Pilate handed him over to the high priest, they were jeering at the they were jeering to be for him to be crucified. And my gosh, I've never seen someone so beaten up. They whipped him, they beat him, they even spat on him. Man, I've never seen a scourging this brutal. That's not even the worst part. 
They put a crown of thorns on his head. Why a crown of thorns? Because he said he was the king of the Jews. They even gave him a robe and a reed and a scepter. I mean, he was so beaten up you could barely recognize him. See, he even went to the Jews and claimed to be their king. He deserved that crown. Those filthy animals, don't they know that he came to save them? Some of them were the same people that greeted him when he came in for Jerusalem. They made him carry across all the way, all the way to Golgotha. And only when the weight wasn't weight was too much for him to bear, only then did he let someone help him. He was the Roman pigs. They traded his clothing and they only gave him wine and gale to drink. And but throughout the whole year ordeal, he didn't say a word. But I'll never forget what he said at the end. So he did say a word. Yes. He said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And then he died. Well, this still doesn't mean anything, you know. But but that's that's not the worst part. That's where it got really strange. The sky got all dark, like it is now, and there was an earthquake, and the whole ground split open. Oh, so that's why it's so dark right now. Yeah. Some people were saying maybe we actually did kill the Son of God. Ironic, huh? Yeah, I didn't believe them before, but man, do I ever. What happened afterwards? I don't know, I fled the ground split open. For all I know, the cross, the ground could have swallowed him up, crossed him whole. Look, I'd, I'd rather not talk about him. It's okay. Thanks for your help. You hear that? He's dead now. What are you supposed to do now? What, what do you want to do now? Well, we can't do anything now. No, you want us to go back now? Yeah, we should go back. We should go back home. Go back. No, Josiah, I didn't go through deserts. Prison, half of Israel wants us to go back. We're gonna see Jesus somehow, okay? Serious. No, no, no. But someone must know where they buried him. So let's go. Oh, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> I mean now. We left our homes to get my guests, so I'm gonna do it. Alright, so there's a the dude. Wait, why is the boulder moved away? Is this supposed to be blocking the entrance? I don't know, maybe they're ventilating it or something. Okay. Told you this looks a little weird. You know what? Let's just get this over with. Well, it's your idea, so you go first. <sighs> Hello, Lord Jesus. My name is Azarius, and this is my friend Josiah. We left our home all the way back to the Syria to give you these gifts. So here, I present to you gift of silver. And here's my gift of tea. Um, so like, what do you guys do? If you don't mind, we'd like a little privacy here. What? We're wasting your time. You know Jesus is not in there, right? Hey? Huh? What do you mean? He's still alive. He's alive! He's risen! What? <laughs> That's impossible! Not for the Son of God, it is it? But, 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 what happened? Who are you anyways? I'm Mary. <laughs> a family friend. So, yesterday, <laughs> Jesus' mother and I went to the tomb to anoint his body for us spices to preserve it. But when we got to the tomb, this is what happened. The stone was rolled away and Jesus wasn't in there. You know what? When we got we stood there baffled. Even more crazy things happened. The angel appeared. You must have been scared. Are you kidding me? I was terrified. How would you feel if an angel appeared in front of you? Okay, so, but it's okay because the angel said, Fear not. And he also told us that Jesus was alive and to go tell the disciples. What did they say? Well, not all of them believed, but it's all right because Jesus went down himself to see them. So, where is Jesus now? His disciples. So, can we go see him? Yeah, sure, the more the barrier. And then we can give my gifts! Well, cut the gift part, you should really worry about your gifts to him. Instead, you should think about his gift to you. What does that mean? What does this even mean? <laughs> so, okay, let's put it this way. Why do you guys think Jesus came down to the earth in the first place? To do miracles? Yeah. No, not 
got rid of it. He came down to this earth to give his ultimate gift through his death, the gift of salvation. So, how do we get this gift? You accept him as your personal savior. I've never heard of anything like this before. And you won't. Part of Jesus' mission was to show us all how to receive his gift. Like, in fact, do you guys want to meet him right now? Like, we are about it? Yes! Come on! Wait, we're coming to you! Thank you. 